Hi everybody, welcome to today's geometry lesson. Today we are going to be talking about the circle and the main parts of the circle because we're going to really begin some pretty cool work here with our circle. So I'm going to take a geometry stick and I am going to draw myself a circle as best as I can. It's not perfect, that's okay. We're doing the best we can here, huh? So here is my circle. So there's a couple different parts that we should go over. My ruler. First, let's talk about this point right here that I made with my push pin. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of color that in red. This part of the circle is called the center. Okay, the center of the circle. Okay, so now let's talk about this here. Let's look at the paper first. This is a rectangle. If I took all the sides all together, I would be finding the perimeter of this rectangle, of this piece of paper, the perimeter of this paper. It's all of these straight lines, okay, that make up the shape. However, does a circle have straight lines? No. No, friends, it does not. It has just one big curvy line. So we have a special word for this. That's called the circumference of the circle. See the circ there? Mm -hmm. Circumference. So circumference is the line that goes around the circle, then closes the space and makes it a circle. And the next part is all the space inside of the circle. It has a similar name to all the space inside this rectangle. That's called the area. All right, the space inside the whole circle, I'm going to just very carefully and lightly remove my, my words real quick. All of the space inside this circle is called the area, right? the area of the circle. I'm going to draw a special line. This special line is going to go through the center of the circle and touch two points of the circumference. Here. It touches the circumference here, and it touches the circumference here. There is a special name for this type of line. This type of line called a diameter. A diameter goes, is a line that goes through the center of the circle and touches two points on the circumference. It has to go through the center, okay? That's real important. I want to draw one more special line for you. This is going to be a line that comes from the center of the circle to one point on the circumference. Is a very important line. It's called the radius. So a radius goes from the center of the circle to one point on the circumference. You notice these are straight lines too? Yes? Cool. So these are the big parts that I wanted to talk to you about and that I really want you to practice so that we can start working on measuring the circumference. We know how to measure perimeters Right? We've got to learn how to measure a circumference. But these five words here, circumference, radius, diameter, area, and center, it's important that you know these terms. So what you can do for this lesson, you can obviously make the same chart, make your own tickets and practice labeling them. You can make a book or a poster, of course. Or if you want to try, I've had people that have made cakes before and they use decorating icing to make all of the points. And then they put little toothpicks in the cake with flags that have the name of all of the different parts. Or you could do that with a pizza. There's a lot of different food items that are circular that you can do this with that would not only be fun, but tasty and delicious. So go ahead, give it a shot. If you end up baking something, please, 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 please make a video of it on Flipgrid or take a picture so I can share it with everybody. And yeah, that's that's it for our parts of a circle. If you have any questions, reach out, my darlings. I miss you terribly. 
but hope you're all doing well. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.